Capricorn, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do your weekly reading for July 13th through the 20th. If you hear a little buzz in the background, yes, it's summer, but Barney had to have all of his hair cut off. <laughs> he looks like a little chihuahua now. Yeah, you could go undercover as a chihuahua. Yeah, you could. Yeah, so he's cold. <laughs> so he has to lie by his heater. And boy, I mean, he gets depressed. He gets a little depressed after he gets a haircut. It's like he just doesn't recognize himself. Okay. All right, so this is the soul's journey cards, all right? So, you know... It might be telling your story from your perspective, or it might be telling your person's story from their perspective. So just keep that in mind, okay? So you might resonate with it on either side. So let's see. Let's see what we have here for you, Capricorn. We have growth. Okay. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. That's beautiful. Love it. We'll see what that's about. And then we have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So there might have been somebody that has come into your life possibly as a friend, possibly trying to, um, it might be somebody that you immediately connected with. You know those types of people, right? That you can, you feel like you've known them forever. A lot, the best actual relationships start off this way, okay, as a true friendship, getting to know each other authentically before moving into a connection or relationship. And then we have doubt. Interesting. I release the need to know all of the answers. I feel like what, what this could be here is there is... Your friendship with somebody is growing and there is doubt around whether or not somebody might have romantic feelings towards you or this could be the other person feeling this. Okay, I feel like this friendship has, has potential, okay, in a really, really positive way. But then this doubt creeps in, you know, and the answer to doubt really is surrendering, surrendering to the universe, surrendering to your feelings, surrendering to your intuition. I feel like you have a knowing that there's more to a friendship than meets the eye, that it's growing. All right, so let's see. Some of you are like, oh. Growth, friendship, how boring is that, right? <laughs> but, again, I'm feeling there's, I have a feeling right now that there's more than meets the eye to this. So, what is this growth? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so that's telling me that I feel like this, this is outside of this connection. This is you. So, you might have completely changed directions in your life. You know, you might have been on one path for a good course of good period of your life and something something changed for you. Your priorities changed, what you wanted in life changed, um, <clears throat> you know, and you went in a different direction. And that has spurred a lot of growth for you you realize that maybe what was really important to you, especially as a Capricorn, right? You, you could be a natural leader. Um, something that was very important to you in the past just doesn't hold the same weight, doesn't hold the same value. This person could have come into your life to help you to realize that, you know, as far as what really makes you happy. Not just what makes you happy on paper, okay? Or from a material standpoint. You know, everybody loves a new car, 
everybody loves a new house, but guess what? You know, after three months, six months, it really is just where you live. It's just what you drive <laughs> and it's a payment, you know? Um, everything loses its flash over the course of time, you know? And whether you make, you know, $25,000 a year or, you know, $500,000 a year, it's still just a payment and it's still just a means to get you from point A to point B. And how you look at your life, um, you know, in, you know, the person that makes $25,000 a year can have a car and a place to live and a bed and a TV and a phone. And it's really the same experience as the person that makes a half a million a year. You know, they have a car, they have a bed, they have a home, some place to lay their head at night. They eat what they want. And they, you know, it's, it really is, there really isn't that much difference. If you were blind, it would be the same experience. Now, I don't know why I felt the need to go into that, but for some of you, that makes sense. Ten of Pentacles. So, where there has been been growth for you you know you have grown on your own you might have taken a different direction again we're going to see how this person might have geared that a little bit but you're seeing the abundance in life in a different way ten of pentacles is abundance in every area of your life what and that's what i was just talking about you know it's all in your perspective and how you look at what you have versus what you want. I mean, you could get a nicer bed, you could get a nicer car, you you could have more expensive gourmet food, but overall, it's probably not gonna change your overall happiness that much. Usually, you know, true joy and happiness, you know, really comes from doing what you love, being around people that bring you joy, and that you bring joy to and just how you define your experience the person that makes $25,000 a year could be much more joyful than the person that makes $500,000 a year because that person who makes $25,000 a year whatever they do for work they're probably not worried about work when they go home so they have freedom to do what they want when they go home the person that makes five hundred thousand dollars a year chances are they're worried about a lot of people at work or they're worried about making sure that they can take care of their employees or that they can pay for you know the lifestyle that they've created the person that makes five hundred thousand dollars a year is not without worries the person that makes $25,000 a year might have worries, am I gonna to continue to be able to support myself? Am I gonna ever have nicer things? But at the end of the day, those are just things. Wheel of Fortune, timing, divine timing. So, it's like, it's like you've reached a plateau or a pinnacle in your growth and you might be asking, what else is there? What else is there? Then somebody <coughs> comes along, excuse me, um, that answers that question for you. What is this friendship about? Knight of Swords. What else? Four of Wands. Okay. I feel like this is a friendship that is based in something that could be more. Something that could be a long-term partnership. Could be a twin. That's definitely a twin card for me. Could be a twin energy. Um, 
This is somebody I, I feel like you have deeper feelings than friendship. And I feel like that is reciprocated. But I don't know that it's gone any further than, than friendship at this point. Knight of Swords says that there's a desire, there's an energy to move this forward. To, you know, you might be hovering in that friendship zone and I feel like there's an energy that's just creeping up on you that wants more. You want more, they want more. <clears throat> Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> so I feel like here's the doubt, okay? Um... You don't worry, okay? You just don't. You don't worry about friends walking out of your life. That might happen, but it's not something that you sit around worrying about. But you're worried about this person or they're worried about you possibly disappearing from their life. They're asking, you know, what am I missing here? What, why does this feel, why is this starting to feel so different? Why is this? starting to feel more like a connection. What am I missing? You know, this person has been, you know, a, a solid person in my life. You know, I, you know, wasn't, or I didn't think I was attracted to this person a year ago. What happened? W what am I missing here? I feel like that's what, what this is asking. It's also gearing towards doubt. What is the doubt around this connection? Seven of Pentacles, neither one of you knows what's next in this connection. So it might feel somewhat exciting. It might feel like, gosh, you know, does this person, is this person noticing me in a different way? I guarantee if you're feeling that energy, chances are they are as well. But you're both asking what's next, but you're both doubting it at the same time. And then we have Eight of Wands. I feel like both of you are <clears throat> doubting the communication of the other. So I, I feel like you're both just going along with the friendship, you know, playing that role, playing that, you know, good friend role. But it's starting to feel like it's not authentic. It's starting to feel like, you know, I'm kind of pretending that I'm only friends with this person. There's, there's something brewing. There's something brewing here. And then we have Three of Swords, which, yes, can be a card of heartbreak, but it can also be a card of disbelief, which is doubt. Okay, so what is the core of this doubt? Knight of Cups. There it is. Knight of Cups is secret love, secret feelings. You know, this is somebody that spends a lot of time thinking about their feelings for the other person. You know, realizing this is realizing an attraction is there. Realizing that Four of Wands, there's potential here for a lot more than friendship. And I, you notice I don't say just a friendship. Friendship is a powerful connection. And it's the way love starts for so many. Somebody that maybe you thought was average looking, you know, kind of a, you know, not your ideal person has become very, very attractive to you because of how they make you feel. That's the glue. That's the glue that attracts people. It's about how this person makes you feel about yourself and how you make this person feel. So, one more card here, Capricorn. There it is, fear, right? We have fear and doubt because we're not sure that it's reciprocated. We're not sure that these feelings are reciprocated. 
This could be a long-term friend. This could be something that where people know you as friends, people know you like as one way and you're feeling another way and it feels it's kind of scary. It's creating doubt. It's somebody that you might not, that people wouldn't expect you necessarily to be with. It might be somebody at work that, you know, you've worked together for a couple of years and suddenly things just have taken a turn. Or, you know, your group of neighborhood friends, maybe somebody recently got divorced, suddenly they have a new light about them. You've always been friends, but you've been couple friends, and now somebody's single, or maybe both people are single, and you're looking at each other in a different way. But I feel like there's definitely an established relationship here. Gosh, this emperor has been coming out all over the place. So emperor, card of Aries, you know, you are trying to control the sphere. You're trying to control somebody seeing you change, change how you are around them. They could be doing the same thing. They could be trying to control their fear around this friendship growing and there's doubt. I just wanna pull a card for doubt. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands has come up a lot as well. So, you're doubting that this person sees you in your best light. You might have revealed things to this person about who you truly are. And you think that, well, you know, gosh, this person knows how I am in relationships. They know, you know, they've seen me at my worst. You know, they've seen me with no makeup on or they've seen me, you know, whatever. I feel like whatever you feel doesn't endear you to this person actually does because this is them seeing you in a beautiful light they see you as beautiful and highly attractive right now and you're doubting this but there is secret love here trying to control the fear you know i feel like you've grown as an individual which has changed your perspective on on other things in your life so it's interesting that you might be changing your perspective on somebody special in your life that's been in your life for a while it makes sense all right all right capricorn that is what i have for you make sure you check out the daily readings i'm doing topical readings on a daily basis um so if you don't see your story in the general readings you can check out the topical readings if you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, of course, I'm here for you to do that for you as well. Just reach out and we'll get you taken care of. Um, but I hope you have a lovely week. Make sure you do your taxes if you haven't yet. <laughs> and I will talk to you next time. All right? All right, bye.